Today's video was brought to you by Newton Said. They'll buy your device for a very nice price. What's up guys, Apple Fanatic, and today I have a quick tutorial on how to get past device not eligible for build uh, request in iTunes. Uh, this uh, error happens when usually A, you're restoring to a custom firmware, B, you are trying to downgrade to a firmware that's no longer signed by Apple, or C, you um, the Apple server is acting up and you are just not having luck but um, I'm here to show you how to get around that it's really quick really simple and it doesn't really involve much of anything other than a quick a couple of modifications to a host file so first I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm talking about so let's open up my iTunes so I have my iPod my iPhone 4 here and no I'm gonna go ahead and usually when you hit option restore you are prompted to um, you're just you have the ability to just restore. However, with this error, as I'll show you, I'm restoring to a custom 4.3.3 created through Ponus Tool today. You are going to update it or restore it, and you are going to see an error pop up. Okay, so this is the error that I'm talking about. The uh, device is not eligible for the build. So a lot of the times when you get this, you try to restore your device or um, through iTunes, you uh, just try to restore your device completely through iTunes or let iTunes download the firmware itself. And if you still get that error, like I have, it's a pain in the ass to fix. Um, so you go over to Tiny Umbrella, you try to do it through that. And if you're like me, you've had success. However, for some reason, it becomes a tethered um, boot. So the, the jailbreak itself is not tethered. But when you're booting it up, it is. It's kind of hard to explain. But I have a really simple fix, like I said. So you're going to hit OK. And you go ahead and just exit out of iTunes. And you're going to want to hit on your keyboard, Mac, Shift, Command, G. And it is going to bring up a folder, or a search window, rather. And you're going to want to type in slash private slash etc slash hit return. And you are going to want to go over to the host file, which is right here. Let me move the camera a little bit so you can see that a little better. Go to the host file, which is right here, and you're going to want to go ahead and drag it to your desktop, double click it, and you're going to want to go to where you see these folders right here. I mean, these uh, commands right here 74.208.10.249.gs.apple.com and 127.00.0.0.1 gs.apple.com and these are basically IP addresses to the server that Apple stores all its good stuff and you're just going to want to add a you're just going to want to comment it out or add two number signs as in the top over here you're going to hit OK file save and basically this just makes it so Apple doesn't check this or iTunes doesn't go here and check it you're going to hit overwrite you can exit out and now you're going to want to drag it back in you're going to hit author authenticate hit replace into the password and now if you want like I'm going to do you're gonna to go to Red Snow I recommend doing this just so you know you'll have total um, positive results Red Snow you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and um, drag it up browse for your IPSW and just go ahead and select 4.3.3 or whatever device you're trying to re your, whatever firmware you're trying to restore whether you're watching this now or in six months hit open It's going to successfully, ident successfully identify it. Hit next. Whoa. My iPod phone just started shaking. Now you're going to want to go ahead and um, try to make it so you can see as much as possible. Go ahead and hit the just entered pwned DFU right now. Go hit next again, and now you're going to want to take your device and power it off. Taking a minute for my device to turn off. 
Now you're going to want to hit next and just follow the on screen instructions to put into a pwned DFU. Alright, so now it's waiting for the iPhone 4 and it's exploiting with the exploit. You can hit finish. You can go ahead and exit out of ETC if you haven't already. And now you're just going to want to open up iTunes. Open up iTunes. You're going to get a message saying that your device is in recovery mode. You're going to hit OK. Now you're going to want to go ahead and hit Shift Restore. Oh, I'm sorry, Option Restore for Mac. And now you're going to want to select the firmware. Um, and this is the same firmware that we aired out earlier. Extracting the firmware. It's now verifying iPhone restore with Apple, preparing the iPhone for restore. Get a white screen now. Get the Apple. Got the spinning, spinning dial at the bottom, indicating that the loading wire is coming. And that was my iPad on the side, iPod on the side. And um, let me guys know, I've been contemplating doing a desk tour, not a room tour, but a desk tour of my computers. And if you're interested, just let me know. Uh, if you don't want me to do it, I have no problem not doing it. But I've had a couple of requests, and I thought, you know what, it's about time to at least do one. So if you're interested, let me know. I will take the time to do a proper desk tour. And if you don't, then I won't even bother. Alright, so as you can see, if you can see that, as you can see at the top, it says preparing iPhone software restore. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now, and I'll come back when it's done restoring to show you. Alright, so I'm back, and as you can see, we have successfully restored our device through iTunes. At this point, if you were to error out, this is where you would be, but as you can see, we are not erroring out. We are having smashing success. And I'll just let it boot. So um, it did work, just in case no one believed me. Shut my window. Um, so I hope it helped. If anyone has any questions on how to do this or any questions about where you install certain uh, number signs and the comment them out, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you. And if this didn't help you, then don't leave a negative comment because I'm just trying to help. But as you can see, we are now officially, let's wait for it to stop being gay. We are now officially jailbroken on, I'll show you 4.3. General, about iOS 4.3.3, AJ2, 8J2, and Cydia does in fact load. Now if you are relying on an unlock, go ahead and download the latest version of Snow Breeze, and, I mean not Snow Breeze, ultra snow and you will have a good old time on your iOS 4.3.3 device unlocked. So for Apple Fanatic this is me saying I hope this helped and peace.